Well, to call one local man a fighter would not only describe his profession, but also his personality. And BC7's Greg Bledsoe introduces us to a man who's using his past to really build a future for others, huh? Absolutely. It's pretty inspiring. This is really cool. You know, uh, in, in the sport of boxing, you'll hear about someone making a comeback. That is exactly what this fighter had to do, but even before his career began. If there's anyone who knows how to take a hit and get back up, it's this 22-year-old. I love the sport. After all, David Berrigan can hardly remember life outside the ring. I've been boxing since I was seven years old, so I basically grew up in a boxing gym. He means that literally. Growing up, David's father and grandfather started a gym in the backyard. By his teenage years, David was one of the best in the world, winning a silver medal at the 2005 Junior Olympics. My first goal was to make it to the 2008 Olympic team, and next was to, to become world champion. But with his sights set on gold, that's when everything went black. Just like that, you know, it hit us. On the way home from a training run in June of 2006, David and his dad were hit by a drunk driver. The crash killed the other driver's wife and severely injured an infant in that other car. And, you know, just, just in a blink of an eye, you know, my life, my life changed, basically. Both David and his dad survived, but the crash crushed three of David's vertebrae along with his chances of making the Olympic team. I was in a back brace for about, around three and a half to four months. It really, it really humbled me. It was a humbling, humbling experience. You know what? They told me the, the, the chances of me boxing again was very slim. But in less than a year, he was training again. This past summer, David turned professional and has won his first three fights. Well, the goal now is to, to become world champion. Well, that. Double Jeff. And this. One, two, hook. Good. Basically, me and my brother had a vision for, for this community. It was just to open up a boxing gym, uh, basically following the family business. I I love boxing so much because I've been wanting to do it for my whole life. Try it again, go. Five days a week, Good, these kids come here to the house of boxing started by David and his brother. Let's go. In a neighborhood that's seen more than 50 violent crimes within a one mile radius over the past five months. Good. But this community needed something like this. You know, this community doesn't have much. So you did good in class or what? Don't stay up, shoot down. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna help them strive for, for whatever goal they have. I wanna win 100 belts. You know, making someone else's dream come true, it, it, really, it, really, uh, it really made me feel good. <laughs> Double jab. So, while David still hopes to follow in some pretty giant footsteps, he's just as comfortable leading. Go! Some smaller ones. I mean, I was in Pampers around a boxing gym. Time. You know, and I'm still around a boxing gym. I, I, I want to do this, do this forever if possible. Last week, David won his third professional fight by unanimous decision. The other two, by the way, were by knockout. So everything is going pretty well. Wow, you what can say it? that again. Yeah, he's 22, and this is like a second chance already. What a story. Yeah. You shot it beautifully, too. Yeah. Oh, well done. Great Thanks. job, as Thank always. You. David Berrigan spends nearly every waking moment at the House of Boxing in Paradise Hills. It's the last one, let's go. Either he's training kids, Push Andrew, let's go. or he's getting trained by his father Carlos as he begins his own pro career. The 22 year old opened the gym one year ago, following his father and grandfather in the family business. Started gym in their backyard. Uh, I decided to come up with the idea of doing boxing for the community here in Paradise Hills. Just bringing families together to come work out, you know, to, to meet each other. And, you know, Paradise Hills is a small community uh, in itself, so we just wanted to do something for this community. I think he's done it a lot, and I appreciate it. He's given everybody a house. As you can see here, the gym's almost full, and everybody just, it's just a good vibe, you feel. It's just like you're right at home. David's dream of opening this gym and becoming a professional boxer almost never happened. In 2006, he and his father were hit by a drunk driver. So when we go to the hospital, the, ho the physician wanted to fuse the back together, but he would never play another sport for the rest of his life. So uh, there was a doctor at UCSD says, you know what, we're gonna try to let the back heal itself. And it healed itself. He was in a back brace for over four months. 
with therapy within the year, year and a half through therapy, hard work, he was given the green light to come and box again. See, but boxing, it mirrors life. You can get knocked down, you could stay there, and you could whimper and you could whine, or you can get your butt up, pull yourself up by the bootstrap, put your mouthpiece back in and go fight again. And so that's what David did. Double jab. One, two. David used settlement money from the accident to help fund his gym and his college education. As he trains students as young as seven, he also takes classes at Southwestern College in pursuit of a business degree. As for his pro career, he has won his first three fights at 154 pounds, two by knockout, and he believes he can set a good example in this community. Now my goal is to become world champion and you know, hopefully inspire a lot of young, younger kids that have the same you know, dreams as me. Troy Hirsch, Fox 5 Sports.